Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Jewel Collection by Makeup Revolution. They have come out with so many products and some are kind of like dupes of other from other brands. Um, so yeah, we're just going to try them out. I'm going to do a few swatches. We're going to see how it wears on the skin. Um, how it applies and yeah. Before I jump onto the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out for today and today's one goes to Arifa so thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button and then let me know in the comments below. Alright, I'm really, really excited about this collection. Like, oh my god, they've literally spoiled me. I, if you ha if you saw my Insta story, like, they literally sent me everything. And I won't be trying every single thing, but just going to be trying stuff that I feel like will suit my complexion. Okay, the first thing that we're going to be trying is the new eyeshadow palettes that they came out with uh, for the Jewel collection. I think I'm going to be going for the... Because there's one that really stood out to me. I'm going to be using the gilded version today. And this is the gold one. It's actually such a beautiful palette. Um, and I feel like I can use every single colour in here. Well, most of it. The only thing I wish about this palette is if there was a more like darker, warmer browns for like the crease and stuff. Um, there are a lot of browns, but I just feel like there needs to be a rich, rich brown in there. And I know they have one because they've seen them in other, other palettes. This is the deluxe one. But again, I just feel like it's not for me. We have the opulent one. This one has very neutral shades, mauvey shades, I would say. Very cool tone, so yeah, again, not for me. But I'm going to be keeping these for a giveaway, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, we're going to be trying the gilded one. And let me just say, first of all, I don't know, I'm going to put it right up there, like... Like, though, that top row of shimmery shades is just stunning. The camera's not really picking it up, but these three shades right here, they're just stunning. I also really love the fact that they put um, names for each shadow. This is so helpful, like, for tutorials and things like that. They also did send me the Essentials brush set. This is £18, which I think is not bad, to be honest, because normally you pay, like, 15 to £18 pounds for a brush anyways. They don't have names, but this is the foundation brush. Also got, like, a flat foundation brush. Kind of like a contour brush right here and then you have a little buffing brush for your eyeshadow for your eyes a little fat shader brush and then you've got an angled brush which is really good for like eyebrows or liner so yeah i'm also going to be opening their massive this is like part of their christmas collection and um, their ultimate brush collection this is 35 pounds you do get like a solid cleanser here which i've actually mentioned in my insta stories before it's actually really really good um i've gone through two of those already to wash all my brushes i just have so many and yeah this brush collection looks beautiful like it really reminds me of like zoeva brushes definitely has that really strong you know factory smell but this is beautiful it's not as soft as the first one, to be honest. The first one is softer. I don't know about £35. I mean, you do get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine brushes for £35. So that kind of brings it to almost £4 a brush, which is, in my opinion, not bad at all. Um, you also got like almost like a stippling brush. Got contour brush, a fan brush. I'm really not a fan of fan brushes anymore, to be honest. Also got a fat flat foundation brush. I always find myself needing these for some reason. Got a flat brush. This is really good to like carve your eyebrows. A little tiny fluffy brush, which is really good for the outer corner here. And then we have a uh, angled brush. It's super tiny. And then we've got a little, you know, little tiny shader brush. Like this is really good for underneath here. You can clean your eyebrows with it as well. My only feedback on this brush is I wish that there was like a large like fluffy brush to blend into the eye. I think it's just missing that. So yeah, I thought I'll just test these brushes as I'm testing their products out. Okay, so the first shades that I'm going to be using is Morocco and Confession. I'm just mixing these two all the way into the outer corner. From the inner corner to the outer corner. Now these eyeshadows are £10 and I think that's not bad. It's like their standard price for their eyeshadows and I think like with the amount of eyeshadows you're getting and the pigmentation like oh my god I need to swatch like that top lay, um, row of um, eyeshadows they're actually so pigmented and like buttery like I think these are like their best shimmery shades like that they've made in an eyeshadow form I'm gonna take the shade Thrill which is this brown shade right here 
I've ha they've had def they have, like for example in the Soph palette in the Tropical Paradise palette their browns like their darker browns definitely show up on my skin whilst this is just it's just not doing anything so I might go in with the black just to create like some depth I wanted to swatch the top row of shimmery shades I'm gonna start off with pretty this is Dreamboat and this is Glam. I mean, just look at that foil, like it feels so buttery, so pigmented. Now these three are my favourites, so the first one is Mesmeric. That one didn't sweat swatch as well, as well as I wanted it to. Alluring. Oh my god, look at that one. And then we have a Fetch. Oh my god, these two. So beautiful. I think I'm going to use Alluring, which is this one right here. And I like to use my fingers with these. And then I'm going to also put a bit of pretty just on the center. Okay, I'm going to use some of Confession again and then just buff this into my lower lash line. I'm not really too fussy about my lower lash line to be honest. Like I just buff a color in there and that's it. <laughs> Can't get over these swatches. Like they are so beautiful. I'm actually going to use the Mascara Revolution by Revolution um, on my lashes. I've been literally loving this mascara so much lately. It's so good. Like, I'm going to show you guys. I do curl my lashes now since I got my lash lift because my lashes have, like, gone down now. It did kind of last about two months. And I literally... I was thinking to wear lashes, but I honestly don't think I need any. Alright, so the next thing that I'm really so, um, excited to try is the new 4K uh, bronzer palette. Now they have a warm version and a cool version. This is the warmer one. This one's more for like, I would say, deeper skin tones, like tan to deep. And then you have the cool version, which I would say is more for like fair to medium skin tones. But again, they are quite cool these ones right here I could get away with this one for my nose the only thing I have to say about this like I feel like this is super red like that's so red I think the only one that I really want to try is this one because it's like the right color of bronzer I like to use for myself there's a little bit of kickback but not that much Blending really nicely, actually. I think these are eight pounds for the whole palette. Um, it's not bad, especially if you have like a makeup kit. I think this is good to have in your kit. Um, but like, I definitely won't be reaching for these because they're very like warm. I could wear this as a blush to be honest, because it's almost orange. I think they did really good with this shade and this one's actually quite nice it's like a very cool toned color like don't have any space that's the one right there i'm going to use this shade from the cool palette put this on the side of my nose like hmm. I would definitely recommend this for a makeup artist or some, for someone who has a kit. They're very pigmented and very easy to blend. I just feel like the shades in the warm one could be a little bit better because the cool tone one is perfect to be honest. But this one, like, I just feel like uh, we don't wear like red bronzers, you know? Anyways, now we're going to go on to blush palettes. They also came out with 4K blush palettes. Now they have a pink one, which is this one right here. But I won't be using this today. This is going to be for a giveaway. And then we have the peach one, which really stood out to me. You guys know how much I love my peach colours. I really like it, especially like these two shades right here. I think I might mix them.
So this side's with blush and this side's without. Like I really like how it just gives a little bit of a pop of colour on my cheeks. Like these powders are blending so nicely. They're not going patchy whatsoever. So yeah, I really like this palette. Definitely this is going to be something I'm going to be using on the regular. Like all four shades because they're so stunning. And you can literally change for every single day. Like you can go a bit lighter, a bit more like a more of a pop of colour. Now we're going to go on to the highlighter jellies. Now, I've gotten so many questions about these. I think these are kind of like a dupe of the Farsali um, highlighter that they have. It's kind of like a jelly kind of consistency. So this is the monumental one. Oh, it is like a jelly. Look at that. That feels so weird. Like almost like a mousse, like a moussey jelly. Wow, it feels like slime. So here's monumental. You can't say that they're not blinding. This is lighter than I thought though. This one is prestigious. It's like more of the rose gold one. And this one is dazzling, which is like a straight up silver. So I feel like this for paler skin tones will look good. So that is the last one. They are very, very like glowy, but not sparkly. Like that's what I like about them, to be honest. I think I'm gonna go in with the gold one today. Six pounds, I think that's really affordable, to be honest. And then I get my beauty blender, it's damp, and I kind of like warm the product up. And then I pop it on my cheeks. I'm trying to swipe. It's actually blending really beautifully to be honest. It's more of like a medium glow. It's not like that beaming highlight in my opinion, unless you pack on it a lot. Slightly sticky, but you know, hopefully it dries down. The jelly highlight definitely feels a bit more on the greasy side, but it does dry down slightly, but it's still a little bit sticky on the skin. What you can do afterwards is like set that with another highlighter. I think Monumental is definitely the shade for me because it doesn't look ashy when I look straight like it looks really nice But very like m subtle to medium glow. Okay, so now we're gonna finally try the jewel collection lip toppers I have all three shades here. You guys wanted me to compare this to the Fenty Beauty lip gloss But it's literally got nothing to do with it Like the lip gloss the Fenty Beauty lip gloss has a color to it like a warm color Whilst these are clear with a bit of shimmer on top. They're kind of like the Jouer lip toppers I have that Fenty <laughs> I guess I did a drop test, but it didn't break, so. But lip toppers definitely have that Fenty Beauty packaging. Um, it's super stunning, but not exactly the same, but the shape is similar. I love the lids. I'm gonna put a little bit of lip liner. A lot of you wanted me to compare it to the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. So here they are. They're very similar in packaging and size. So here's a swatch of the shade Luxurious. Oh my god, my swatches are so awful. That's Luxurious. It has like just a little bit of a shimmer on a sheen to it. It's quite glittery actually. This is very gold. You probably can't tell in the camera. Okay, then we have the shade Ex 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 Exquisite. I couldn't say that at all. But it's more of like a lilac iridescent i would say and then we have a pure silver one and we have fortune here which is very silvery very cool toned but i think i'm gonna go in with the gold one obviously see it's very gold it's honestly so beautiful like it gives it it's giving me that 2000 vibe like that you know that gold brown glossy lip that everyone wore with like the brown line on this uh, around like it just reminds me of that but it's so comfortable so beautiful it has this beautiful glistening shimmery effect to it so these are the free lip toppers and this is fenty beauty it's more of a gloss you see and fenty beauty has a beautiful like sweet scent while these i don't think they have a scent yeah, they have no scent whatsoever. 
Alright guys, I think this is the final look. I'm actually really digging it. Like, the more I look at the eyeshadow, I really do love it. Like, I don't know, I really like it. I just wish for the eyeshadow palette, the mattes were a bit more pigmented and darker. Because the other two palettes, I feel like I couldn't get a lot of use out of for my skin tone. Let alone a darker complexion. I feel like you, you're going to have trouble with some of the shades in the palette. So I really wish that they had darker, more pigmented shades. Because I know they can do it. I've seen it in their other palettes. Um, but other than that, the, the shimmers are so beautiful, like, it's just there on my lid, like, you can see it. And then the, the jelly highlighter, I was really surprised, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I just love how easy it was, I just love how easy it was to blend. I love how it didn't kind of mess up my powders that I already had on my face, it just blended beautiful, beautifully. I was even able to top up my bronze on the top just to make it a bit more bronzy. Now, I do wish that the bronzer palette, the, the warm one, had better shades in my opinion. They were too red, but one of the shades I can really use and it blended so nicely. The powders themselves are really, really nice and soft and they just blend really well, but I just feel like the shades could be better. But the cool tone palette one is really, really good. So yeah, I definitely recommend that. The blush palette are just 10 out of 10. I love them so much. Like honestly, you've got a good selection of choices. I prefer the peach one to the pink one, to be honest. And then the lip toppers are just stunning. So yeah, those are my thoughts on all the products. And to be honest, the brushes are really nice, but my most favourite set was definitely the burgundy one, which was the um, it was the Revolution Essentials brush set. These are so soft, they're so nice. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I feel like my channel is definitely becoming a review channel. Like, I've done so many reviews lately. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!